today. Ryan Grice Mullins was signed by the Chicago Bears. Grice Mullins had originally been picked up by the Houston Texans as an undrafted free agent in April, but was released by the team last month. RGM had some injury issues in his leg, which kept him out of most of the Texans team activities. Now he says he's good to go, and the Bears already in their training camp, so he'll jump right in. Grice Mullins led Hawaii with over 1,200 yards receiving and 12 touchdown catches last season before deciding to forego his senior year to turn pro. Meanwhile, the current UH receiving core may be getting a bit deeper. Warrior defensive back Ryan Mouton could see some action this upcoming season on offense. That's according to reported statements made by head coach Greg McMacken at the WAC football media preview in Salt Lake City this week. Mack referred to Mouton as the team's quote quickest player. Mouton recorded 26 tackles and two interceptions last season, returning one pick for a touchdown. He also had a 90 yard kick return for six. Mouton did play some offense while playing high school and junior college ball in Texas. Ryan Grice Mullins NFL dreams continue today. The former Warrior receiver was picked up by the Chicago Bears. It was a real quick deal at that. Even though Grace Mullen didn't participate, he was suited up and on the field by the first practice. Bears actually made room for the California kid by cutting fullback J.D. Runnels. Grace Mullen originally signed a free agent deal with the Texans, but was released by that team last month. The Washington Redskins are pretty fond of Colt Brennan and his connection to the Aloha State. Teammates even nicknamed the former Warrior QB McGarrett after the legendary lead detective from Hawaii Five-0. Here's WUSA's Levin Reed with a training camp report from D.C. He may have the most recognizable name of all the Redskins rookies, but Colt Brennan realizes right now that all means nothing. I don't feel any pressure, really. I just feel like I want to go out and show everybody what I'm all about. And um, that's why, you know, every time I step out there, I'm excited for it. The record-setting quarterback out of Hawaii was a sixth-round pick. His job of impressing the new coach started immediately. He's got a ways to go. And I'll tell you, he's, uh, he's a great study. He loves what he's doing. He loves being out here. The guys are going to rally around him. So now Colt has gone from being the big man on campus or island to struggling young QB. Colt knows the past. A lot of quarterbacks did wonderful things in college and failed in the pros. He's not trying to add to that stat. When guys come into the league, it's, it's the guys that take everything for granted, that don't work as hard as they once did. You know, for me, I'm working harder than ever right now, and I think that's going to be something that makes me successful in the years to come. Now, obviously, in the long run, Cole Brennan's value to the Redskins will be right there on the field. But for now, book your tickets and get some advice. The man spent a ton of time in Hawaii. He's got to know the hot spots. Uh, for a lot of people, I'm actually a nice guy to have around here because anytime they want a Hawaiian vacation, they kind of got a little on the inside. Starting a luau at Redskins Park from Levin Reed. Nice news now. Oh, come on, the island jokes. Brandon also shares his thoughts on the Redskins website. Check it out. He's got a degree from UH in communication, so Brennan's willing to talk about just about everything from his hip surgery to how he's learning from Coach Zorn. To read Colt's blog, go to kjimmy9.com, and we'll link you to the website. It's a great blessing. You know, we did a lot of good things last year going to BCS. It's definitely a blessing. You know, coaches put us in the right position to make plays, and that's, you know, something to look forward to this year. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. We caught up with Warriors linebacker Solomon Elamimian today. Yesterday, at the WAC football preview in Salt Lake City, Utah, media members that cover the conference predicted the UH senior would be WAC Defensive Player of the Year this season. Are you using this kind of as fuel to the fire for your season, proving that you do deserve the respect that you're getting? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, anytime you get a war like this, you know, you got guys that are going to be gunners for you, you know what I'm saying? And guys that are going to be, um, you know, trying to take you out and, you know, trying to prove their point is they kind of felt that they got snubbed. And that's, you know, it's definitely that's something that, you know, you know, I wear and I'm proud of. And that's something that, you know, I look forward to just having a great year and use this motivation just to get better. Conference coaches poll was also released yesterday. And the defending WAC champion Warriors were picked to finish fourth behind Fresno State Boise State and Nevada. Whatever it may be, you know, the games are played on the field. And, you know, it's all it's all preseason, you know, so you don't know what's gonna happen at the end of the year and it's something to look forward to. Um I honestly I can care less about the preseason rankings, say truth. I just look forward to playing, you know, Boise, Fresno, all these great WAC teams, you know, on Saturdays. After a team leading one hundred forty one tackles last season, Sally's got three hundred thirteen stops in his career. 
that ranked seventh all time in the WAC. Second chance for former Warriors slot back Ryan Grice Mullins. RGM signed a free agent deal and reported to the Bears today after being cut by the Texans without ever taking a snap to the injury. Grice Mullins got 106 passes for 1,372 yards and 13 touchdowns as a junior and gave up his senior season to change his NFL dream in Chicago. He joins fellow Hawaii guys Olin Krutz and Leonard Peters.